All right, hello and welcome to yet another trading week. Well, no doubt the market has become uh, very lively, even though we are seeing uh, plenty of ranges. But no doubt, price has been ticking uh, with uh, so much momentum, and I am very happy about that. Okay, now uh, before we proceed with this uh, market analysis, as usual, let's look into uh, the Forex Factory economical calendar to see what we are expecting. Uh, the fundamental events for this upcoming trading week well as you can see here we have uh, quite a few high impact news announcements um, the uh, uh, we have uh, daylight saving time uh, shift all right um, well let's be concerned about the high impact news announcement not so much for uh, this upcoming trading week uh, f uh, we have from the sterling pounds the American dollar the Australian dollar uh the american dollar and the, uh, the canadian dollar right not so much okay but just keep that those uh, news uh, high impact news announcement on your notepad and make sure you are not trapped in those announcements especially if you are an intraday trader okay now let's look into the uh, charts but before we do that again let me just review last week we were only able to take uh two trades all right one from the american dollar uh versus the Canadian dollar and the other from the sterling pounds Japanese yen. Well, we scored a loss from the American dollar, uh, Canadian dollar, uh, but we are able to balance things up from the sterling pounds against the Japanese yen. In fact, we made a total of 315 pips in the sterling pounds against Japanese yen. That was quite a huge uh, movement in our direction and uh it, it was a good thing all right okay now let's look into the charts uh let's review what we did last week last week we uh, looked into the australian dollar against the american dollar and we were looking at this uh, trend line all right we're looking for uh opportunities to go uh, long all right after that trend line was broken but as you can see after the breakout the pullback uh price didn't go uh, anywhere all right we'd rather see uh, failed candles you can see those two inverted hammer formation which shows that price was exhausted and of course uh, the next move we saw price pushing to the downside on Friday so the hesitation here was too much and of course we didn't see the momentum and we didn't get involved similarly the Australian dollar against the Canadian dollar okay we analyzed this as well we saw the breakout we saw the pullback but then we were seeing pin bars and that kept us out of the trade so uh, no trade there no lose no trade all right okay now let's look into the american dollar against the canadian dollar where we scored a loss actually um in the daily time frame in fact it was quite uh, a chaotic type of price behavior price was just uh, zigzagging up and down um in the forward time frame especially you could see that price was just um, uh, ranging all right it was ranging and this is a range again that we marked which was the earliest range the price was just uh, zigzagging it broke to the upside and then fell back inside again uh, this constitute a fake breakout all right a fake breakout and you can clearly see that in the daily time frame in the daily time frame so you see the confusion this is a pin bar uh, this is another one. Okay, so we are very optimistic since our trading strategy is calling for uh, a downward bias. We are still bearish and we'll be looking for a second chance to get into this trade. We are looking for price to keep pushing to the downside. Okay, so our direction here is to the downside. Uh, once we find the opportunity, we will let you know. The euro against the Canadian dollar, uh, well, we're also following this pair. We analyzed this last uh, week. Uh, in the monthly time frame, we got that uh, key level, and you can see price has pushed above that level. But this is still an active candle, all right? Now, let's look into the uh, lower time frame to see what's been happening there. Uh, well, in the weekly time frame, we saw that uh, like a breakout pullback and likely a continuation move. But I am not comfortable with this type of uh, candle formation. You can see. The uh, pullback was a pin bar. The uh, close there is another pin bar. So don't be surprised if we have price uh, pushing to the downside uh, for this upcoming uh, trading week. 
which eventually may have a fake breakout in the monthly time frame so um this is uh not something you want to uh, trust to go long be very hesitant in the daily time frame remember we analyzed this pair where we talked about um uh, price if you remember we talked about price turning around somewhere here to the downside or bouncing off that level of resistance to the downside all right none of that happened we didn't get any sign of reversal but rather price made breakout in the daily time frame all right price made uh, that breakout in the daily time frame and it seems you are getting a pullback well this pullback we are not still we are not we have not gotten any bounce formation there so we are not going long yet uh, more so that the weekly candle is not so interesting and so we are not going long here yet chances are that price may drop back down so be very careful uh, looking at that uh, weekly candle okay this weekly candle we are not going long we will keep looking for a short opportunity we haven't found any entry yet but once we do we will let you know the canadian dollar against the uh, japanese yen this is the daily time frame i just want to show you um what's been going on here let me zoom in the charts i hope you can see clearly um you can see this is the level i want to uh, take my uh, point all right that's the lowest string low right there for this one and so uh in case you are not seeing my chart clearly i'm going to uh, mark that level you can see how price came to retest that point then um, what did we get we're getting a pin bar which is a bounce okay now how significant is the pin bar let's zoom further let's connect uh, this low all right this counter trend right here to see uh if we get a confluence i'm going to connect that to this one here oh uh, sorry i need to be exact with my levels okay just a minute all right so you can see that price came to retest double of level of uh, support all right this one here then this is um a counter trend line so price came to retest double level of support and so we should be expecting at least a bounce to the upside so for us in the canadian dollar against the japanese yen we'll be interested in long opportunity given this candle in the daily time frame uh let's also look into the american dollar against the uh, japanese yen um also a similar price behavior let me take a counter trend line uh counter trend line from here all right that's it this uh, level this one here i hope you can see my uh, screen let me just adjust it okay now this a level that's the first bounce second bounce price rejection right there okay then um, let's consider this level as well this one here you see we are coming around the confluence zone let me try that. Um, okay exactly my levels okay so um, a confluence zone as you can see uh, that level coming around that zone uh, this one coming around that area so we may be seeing a bounce to the upside in the american dollar against the japanese yen just want to show you um of course anyhow we want to take this trade we will let you know if you are a member of our telegram channel uh also the australian dollar against the uh, swiss franc i just want to show you this in the daily time frame what are we seeing uh where we got um a trend line here yeah? okay uh, of course you can visualize that trend line that's a nice trend line uh now we are getting hesitation here why is price hesitating around this area well chances are that we may be having um maybe a channel formation i'm going to just uh try to project the channel um change that to red red color okay then um is high all right so we may be seeing uh price making some possible channel formation so uh this is just to give you some warnings that hey uh be careful looking for a short opportunity here until price gives way all right because we may have a potential channel formation in the australian dollar against the swiss franc so this may might be a level of support okay all right so that's pretty much uh it thanks for watching find anything interesting I will definitely let you know. I'm wishing you a profitable trading week ahead. Bye-bye.